Hi, Jacob here in Madrid in my home, and I thought it would be a good time to do a little heart to heart and let you know how things are going in Madrid, how I'm doing, and uh, kind of where we're at in this whole thing. You know, um, I remember when Julie was sick last year, and I started to imagine what it would be like losing her, what the dying and then the grief and the, what it would be like to live life and do ministry without her. And, you know, you just you just can't even imagine. Um, one thing's imagining and then the other thing is, is to live through it. And um, I can say that death is the worst, absolute worst thing that can happen. You know, somebody that you love, your best friend, your favorite person in the world, and then all of a sudden they're gone. So it's there's really no words uh, to express that. Um, and in some ways, these last months have been more difficult than the first months. And so there's like no book you can read that says it's going to be like this. And, and so even the grieving process, I, I can't even, I don't know. I really don't know. Now, now what I can't, what I do know, and that's what I kind of want to share with you. What I do know is something I read about in, um, I was re rereading in second Corinthians chapter four, and it so expresses, you know, how sometimes you read the scripture and you go, oh, that's a great verse. But until you live it, it doesn't really come alive. And so this one's really come alive to me in 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Um, it says that um, we are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. And it's exactly what I feel. You know, I feel like the affliction is definitely there, but I am not crushed and uh, perplexed, but not driven to despair. And that's the truth. You know, I am not driven to despair, uh, struck down, but not destroyed. And the death does strike you in so many ways, but it doesn't destroy you. It's amazing how the grace of God just picks you up and carries you. Uh, and that you can't even put into words. And so it's just one of those beautiful things that um, in the midst of all the... And, and he says, why do all these hard times happen? And he says that through the, the breaking and the crushing and the trial, he says that the life of God might be manifest through you in a greater way. And I thought, well, I am going through that process of affliction and crushing. And, and God's goal in this, one of his goals is that his life would be able to, his aroma would be able to shine through me in a greater way. And he says, uh, verse 16, so we do not lose heart. And I'll tell you, you know, it's really easy to lose heart. Um, there's a lot of gray in the in, in my life and there's sometimes there's black and then the sunshine breaks through and then it's gray again and then it's black and it's just like my goodness you, know, you just want to lose heart but he, and, and I agree with him he says we do not lose heart though our outer self is wasting away our inner self is being renewed by day day by day and so when as I stay close to the Lord that's exactly what's happening and for this light momentary affliction um is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory. And it's like light momentary affliction. like, And it is basically a light momentary affliction. Um, because he ends up saying here at the end, as we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen, for the things that are seen are transient, and the things that are unseen are real. They're eternal. And see, even like you and me, you know, my kids, grandkids, it's all transient. Julie, transient. It's like our ministries are transient. Everything's like transient. But everything that we, everything that's eternal, the unseen, everything we invest in the eternal is is like forever. And so I guess what I'm saying is I'm not um, crushed. I'm not destroyed. I'm not driven to despair. Um God is wanting his life to shine through me and that the biggest lesson I'm learning in these last months is to keep my eyes fixed on the eternal. And as I do, then this light momentary affliction, it, it just seems lighter. And so those are my words of encouragement. Um, I'm doing okay. Uh, God is carrying me and I uh, wanted to leave you with those thoughts.